we're gonna get to decorating this space. This is the dining room and I'll be decorating the sideboard and the dining room table. As you can tell, I have everything that I'm going to need right here. I do have some cleaning in here to do like dusting and cleaning the mirror and the sideboard. The dining room table is gonna get vacuumed and I have to vacuum clean the floors. I'm not worried about replacing the curtains in here. I want it to be a little lighter in the dining room. So we're gonna keep the curtains and that's about it. So let's get to decorating. To the fun part i am going to add these beautiful uh, ombre inspired vases that i got from hobby lobby now i thought that they complement my mirror and the lamps now the bigger one i bought that one last year but the smaller more rounded one that i'm placing right next to it i found that this year and they are gorgeous now just to add in some color i am going to be bringing in these deep burgundy fall foliages that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. I'm sorry, at home, they were $9.99 and I'm using about five to six stems and I'm just gonna arrange them and uh, fluff them so they can be just grand. to the smaller vase I am going to be adding in some bubble wrap to give it some height because we're going to add in some moss now you guys are going to see this this is going to be gorgeous I love adding in moss into my empty vases especially when I'm using two and sometimes I also like to wrap it around the stems Next, I'm adding in some artwork. Now, this one I got from Home Goods. It was already in this perfect frame that was like an antiquish gold with a burgundy around the edges. It was it just went perfect with my decor this year. Next, I'm adding in my favorite pumpkins, which is these brown ones. Oh my goodness. Mm -mm. This is given to me like I've walked up into one of those old restaurants downtown chicago and new york or even boston i don't know it, that's what my inspiration is coming from guys now mind you i may not have all the antiques down packed but hey it's giving that vibe almost now i'm just adding in one of my bowls and i'm going to place in these little gold figs that i got from amazon and also etsy Let's add in this little gold tray and then this H&M candle. Now I bought this candle because I love the tortoise print and I'm just going to place it right here on the edge. 
Next, I'm going to add in one of my checker throw blankets. Now, I picked this blanket up from Target last year. I wish I would have bought another one. And then I'm going to place a little cute little pumpkin right in the middle. over into the other side of the dining room I'm just gonna add these dried fall foliages that I picked up from Hobby Lobby last year and place them right into this vessel I didn't want too much over here in this corner this year I just wanted something a little bit minimal and this was perfect Very quickly, I'm just going to take my almond wood cleaner and get this table sprayed and cleaned down. And afterwards, we're just going to go in and start decorating the dining room table. Now, I did want something very minimal here. I am going to put out my dishes, but that's going to be later on in another video. Now, what I was going for in here was just something simple until I received a package. So I'm gonna show you guys two different ideas and you can vote on which one that I should have in the middle of my dining room table. We're gonna be using items that I've already owned, like this vase right here. Now I picked this up from Target, I believe a year ago, and then this doubled antique brass candle holder. Now I'm just gonna place the vase right here in the middle of the table, and then the candle holder right next to it, not like on an angle kinda. And we're gonna be adding some foliages. Now, some of these are from last year from Target, which are my favorite, and the other ones are from Hobby Lobby. And I'm just gonna place them right inside of the, the vase. And then just adding in these taper candles, handmade taper candles that I picked up from World Market. I absolutely love these guys. Now, I probably say that about everything, but I do love these. I love the fact that they are not perfect they have the imperfection to them and i love the fact that they're handmade now i'm going to add that and then i'll also be adding a little brown pumpkin that i painted right in the middle of the candle and the vase and then just adding a nice little accent candle on the end <music> decorating this package came to the door now I was doing design number one and that was going to be it at first but when this came in I'm like we got to do it too we got to do it too so I don't have everything that I actually wanted to use for this one which was some cute little white pumpkins I wanted to pick up and 
actually some more candles, but I'm going to use what I have, okay? So you guys are going to tell me whether you like design number one or design number two. Now, these are from A Floral. These are my favorite. I have the stems down my hall, and I just love them. I love the color. I'm loving the deep plums and the burgundies for the year. I am even thinking about using it for Christmas. So we're going to put this down the table, and like I said, we're going to use what I have to see how it turns out. Now, my life has been busy, so I completely forgot that I bought these. I am not lying. I forgot that I even bought these and that these were coming. And it's just been so much going on, guys. Homecoming, homecoming parades, football, practice at 6 o'clock in the morning with the kids, Saturday practice. It's been so much lately that I don't even know if my head is on straight, okay? <laughs> and I'm not getting a proper sleep. But anyway... Let's get back into this decorating. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be using an actual runner up under this one. I actually like the organic look that it's giving. Now, I've added two of my candle holders that I got from Hobby Lobby last year. No, I take that back. I've had these for about two years now. And then I picked up these beautiful brown candlesticks from Hobby Lobby two days ago, I think it was. I don't think I'm going to use them because they're a little bit on the darker side. They look nice with it, mind you. I like them. But we're going to switch them out and we're going to try something a little bit lighter. And then I also added in some candle holders, some glass with gold around the rim candle holders straight down the table. I don't know. I think I'm leaning more over to the other design, but I really love this garland okay I love this garland and I love the next candles that we will be using which are these these are gorgeous well including you know the deep brown ones those are beautiful too but I just think this went very nice and I want to keep these little candle the candle holders on the end of this table I like the design I've checked so many other interior designers out to see if this was even used. I used it, I think, last year. Did I use this style last year during Christmas? I think I did. I'm not for sure. But I love it. I love it. So you guys get to choose one or two. We are who we are. Why don't I be me and you be you? We're spreading color. We are getting into making these taffy apples. At least that's what I call them. Some people say it's affy taffy apples or anyway, caramel and pecans. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're going to get to making these real quick. I've already washed them in hot water. So now I'm just going to go ahead and get them dried off. As I'm drying them off, I'm going to also take out that stem because we want to be able to put our little, you know, our little stick in there. So I just want to pull that out. And then afterwards, we're going to take these apples and we're going to put them into the refrigerator for about 30 minutes to an hour so they can get cold in order for the caramel and the pecans to stick. Now, let's see if we can be successful with this one. And we could have some fun. Problems coming in our way. Now I will like you just the way you are. And you will like me just the way I am. And I will like you just the way you are. The way you are. Oh. Keep on doing what you do. Doing what you do. Just keep on doing what you do. Keep on doing what you do. Doing what you do. Apples are getting cold. We're just going to prepare the caramel. Now, you will usually use two bags, but in my case, I only have a bag and a half. Reason being is because my husband decided to eat half of my caramel candy. So, I'm going to work with what I have. Now, my microwave has a setting for melting caramel candy, and I think it's about a minute. So, in between time, just go in and stir the caramel up so it doesn't be lumpy, and you just want it smooth. Now, before I put it into the microwave, I do use... um. 
about one fourth of heavy whipping cream and just a pinch, just a pinch of salt. At this point, everything was going downhill. Or should I say, the caramel and the pecans were going downhill. <laughs> now, I don't understand where I went wrong. I did everything accordingly. I cleaned my apples in hot water to get the wax off. I dried them. I put them on a, pan, a sheet pan and put them into the refrigerator for 30 minutes to an hour. Okay, I did all of that. Look at my caramel. It's very whippy <laughs> and very smooth. So I don't understand what went wrong in this process. But as you can tell, my caramel and my pe peanuts are melting. And I don't know what I did. Now, mind you, they were still good. My family demolished them within an hour. Okay. So you put them in a the refrigerator for 30 minutes to an hour. You take them out and you start doing the caramel. You start the dipping process. And that's what I did. Afterwards, you let them sit for an hour. And once I let them sit for an hour, they gained a little top hat. I mean, they had a little flat hat going on at the bottom. And I'm like, <laughs> I don't know what I did wrong. My daughter's like, mom, it doesn't matter. Girl, they still taste good. But this was my first rodeo and I don't know, we're gonna try again. That's all I got to say. We're going to try again. We're not going to give up. Babes, you guys have seen the good and the bad in today's video. Now, I have a couple of things that I have to put away. My husband just walked in here with these beautiful glasses from Home Goods. But it is time for me to get up out of here. I thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoy cozy content like this one, clean and motivation, seasonal home decor, shot with me's and Sunday resets, then what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And until next time, I love you all so much. Bye.